Hi all, just wanted to put out a quick video and this one is on hard gainers and we're going to talk a little bit about that and a little bit about uh, fat loss and weight gain in general I'll try and break down some myths around that subject so hard gainers are people that are really struggling uh, to put on any size whatsoever so they're naturally lean they've always been skinny as they might put it and they're really struggling to put on any muscle tissue and even any body fat and commonly um, you know the guys in the gym I've dealt with and spoken to and uh, helped out they will say look it's impossible you know whatever I do I can't put on size and that reflects a little bit on the the same people that I've dealt with that have wanted to lose body fat and they've said exactly the same thing it's in reverse they say look whatever I do I can't lose body fat you know I'm genetically stuck here I think this is it sort of thing I, nothing's going to work so I just want to say to both groups there is hope for both of you that is not the case you can both get where you want to get to um, it's just maybe going to take a little bit more work than it would for some. So let's break something down to start with on the genetic side. Um, you're not genetically doomed, but genetically there are some people in life that are gifted. They're really lucky. They are gifted to be lean. They don't have much body fat. They happen to um, quite easily put on muscle tissue and you know it all comes easily for them they can kind of get away with eating stuff they don't necessarily look fat because of it you know they can eat cakes they can eat sweets all that kind of thing and they they don't struggle and then they go to the gym they lift some weights they put on muscle tissue as well they don't even sometimes have to eat a um, incredibly high protein diet to do that now that doesn't mean that everyone else can't get results that just means they're blessed they're very lucky but they're in a tiny tiny minority they're like 0.01 percent of the population they're minuscule you know they're incredibly blessed and they're the kind of people that go on to be maybe really high level strength athletes or uh, maybe um, models film stars all that kind of thing you know where they've got these guys in um, films where they're action films or whatever you know they're a tiny percentage of the population but they appear in our media all the time so they kind of set the the standard a bit like um females you know like uh, not all females are six foot runway models but all the media that we're bombarded with it would appear that all females are you know these sort of uh, gorgeous girls with super long legs and you know perfect buttocks and perfect breasts and everything's in the right place etc etc and, and we all know that that in reality for 99.9% .9 of people isn't the case we've all got um, little bits and pieces that we're not happy with with our bodies etc we're all different so what is the case for the people on either side of that well I'm genetically um, predisposed to put on body fat you know I was always a fat kid I didn't eat huge amounts as a kid. I ate the wrong things, but not massive volumes of food. So that was confusing to me because I would eat the same sort of foods as my friends did. You know, we weren't making great food choices. It was the 1980s and we were all, you know, eating pretty rubbish food. But my mates weren't getting fat and they assumed, hey, this, this guy must be going home and eating like another two dinners or something. I wasn't. I just happened to be predisposed to be fatter than they were equally I had friends that were really really skinny and they weren't happy about that they were they wanted to be look a bit bigger um, and they would eat the same things as the rest of us and they weren't particularly getting any bigger so they were obviously predisposed to be a bit leaner and that some of that's because of metabolism you know they had a faster metabolism so they're burning more maintenance calories a day I had a slower metabolism so I'm burning less maintenance uh, calories a day 
and then some of that's down to activity level so I may have been doing less activity some of those guys were doing more there's certainly a lot of evidence to suggest things like nervous energy so people that um, twitch and bounce their legs and sort of fiddle around and um, jig about you know we've seen people that sort of sit in chairs and they're always jigging the body around jigging their leg up and down they actually burn a considerable amount more body fat than people that don't do that um, so that's an interesting one uh, so there's all kinds of reasons why you may or may not um, be going in the direction you want to be in terms of your body and diet now is that meaning that it's impossible to to achieve your dream body shape absolutely not it just means it's a little bit more difficult so I had to struggle and have a very strict diet and a very strict training regime to get down to having visible abs and you know visible vascularity and, and getting into good shape whereas there'd be some other guys that probably wouldn't have to do that you know they would just go down the gym a couple of times a week and kind of be a bit careful but I literally have to cut out alcohol I cut out all the bad food if uh, I'm just la launching a subscription section um, tonight if this video goes out tonight if not it'll be tomorrow but uh, in that I go really in depth on the on the diet stuff in there and then we'll be going in depth on the training stuff I put a load of training stuff in the lifestyle section so you've all got the information there that you would need to follow so commonly the guys that were hard gainers would say to me I cannot put on muscle tissue but they all had something in common they weren't prepared to eat the amount of calories um, that they needed to be consuming to put on muscle and the odd guy that was prepared he got results and whereas I might have to eat say 3,000 calories 3,300 calories a day to put on some muscle tissue at my size you know someone that was genetically like had a lot of nervous energy and genetically um, predisposed to have this quite high maintenance calories that are burning through it then they might have to eat another 500 to a thousand more calories to put on some muscle tissue but the point being it can be done and you've got to be consistent that is the bit that people struggle with that it's not just doing it for like a day or a week it's doing it for a year and if you do it you will get the results the same the other way I've spoken to a lot of people who say I've tried everything I cannot lose body fat now they haven't tried everything because what they haven't tried is consistently eating less of very healthy foods and consistently exercising because it's a matter of physics there's no way on the planet if you consume less than your maintenance calories per day and you do exercise regularly there is no way on earth that you will not lose body fat so you're either lying to yourself you know or you're lying to other people or both um, you know I've dealt with people that it's a really tricky subject and I'm not knocking people so please don't think I'm I'm tearing people down but it's important that we get real with ourselves you know because that is a terrible myth to perpetuate just to make yourself feel better because it makes other people believe that there's no hope if you say you know if you're a lot of people are all saying the same thing a lot of people are all saying whatever I do I can't lose weight I've mentioned body positivity before one of the issues I have with the body positivity movement is that part of that movement is a um, a kind of acceptance of well this is the body that we've been given and we should learn to love it as if that there, there, there can be no change and if you do love your body and you're overweight and that's what you want to be fantastic I'm not knocking that at all but just because you happen to be in an overweight body doesn't mean you have to learn to love it if you don't want to you know you're not stuck with that what you can do is do something about it and perpetuating the myth that there's nothing that can be done that it's just this genetic problem that you know it can't be uh, it can't be sorted through any means that's nonsense it can absolutely be sorted you know there's um, it's all the scientific information in the world to back that up with and I'm proof that that works there are many many other people that have made that journey 
the reason that thinking exists is because the journey you have to make is incredibly hard and you're talking about giving up a year of your life to take that journey and it's not really giving it up because what I found is taking that year actually opened up my life to me it changed my outlook completely I went from being um, you know I'd become quite introverted because I wasn't happy with my uh, body image I'd stopped looking in mirrors I was you know feeling depressed about that not depressed I wasn't sitting around crying every day but people do and may, maybe even worse but I was certainly unhappy with what was going on in my life and that was having impacts on various parts of my life that I wasn't taking part in activities I wasn't going out and doing things that maybe I wanted to do because I felt self-conscious I certainly would not have gone to a swimming pool for example or I would not have wanted to go to a beach or go on a holiday where people you know it, where there was an expectation that you were standing around in hot weather and taking your top off I like to be covered up and that's a shame that I was um, you know missing out on life opportunities because of the way that my body was forcing me to think about myself and thinking back I knew all this stuff all along because I'd already been through the journey of getting into really good shape before and I, I just lost track you know and we all do that especially as we get into middle age there's that nagging voice that says hey don't worry about going to the gym you're getting older just relax man you know you, you don't have to do that anymore and everything's cool and you'll be fine and then before you know it you're really out of shape and you're feeling awful about yourself um, I want you to know that can be resolved if you're really thin and you want to look more muscular that can be resolved in the same manner if you follow the diet you know if you're a hard gainer and you subscribe to the uh, the members section it's like two pound a week then um, I'll give you some tips on how to increase some of the parts of the standard diet that I've got in there so that you will start getting results and if you're consistent you will get the results right that's about it I'm sorry to uh, kind of sound like I'm giving people a lecture but it's something I'm really really passionate about and it's something I worry that there's a lot of people out there that are kind of stuck in a situation that they've just come to accept and I want them to know you don't have to come to accept that if you don't want to. Thanks a lot. I hope you're having a great weekend. I'll see you soon. Bye now.